My costume is perfect. Fright Ball is all about being scary, and a scarecrow literally scares crows. <laughs> right, Custard? I overheard Raspberry Tart and the other Mean Berry saying they didn't think I would even wear a costume to the annual Fright Ball Ball. They clearly don't know this berry. Let's show these big city berries. No berry does Fright Ball like we do. Why are we the only ones dressed up? <laughs> this is my nightmare. Shortcakes, what are you wearing? It's a Fright Ball Ball. Why isn't every berry dressed up? No, this is Peach Trifle's Fall Ball. But Raspberry Tart said... <laughs> <laughs> nice costume. You're definitely the scariest thing at this party. <laughs> yeah, you really need to stop listening to her. What is going on over here? I'm Peach Trifle. This is my event. You are? Strawberry Shortcake. I'm a scarecrow, and this is my crow, Custard. We're dressed up for Fright Ball. Ta-da! Costumes and cheap scares aren't really what I'm known for. I throw the grandest parties in Big Apple City. Every berry loves them. No offense, but maybe your party could use some costumes and cheap scares. Excuse me? It couldn't hurt to try. The harvest moon hangs in the sky. Scarecrow scare as crows fly by. Somewhere close, a howling cry. Right time has begun. This night feels so mysterious. Chills and thrills in store for us. Don't take it too serious. It's, it's time, time to have some fun. It's a frightful night, so chill and delightful. We're in Austin, scare a friend. Thrills and chills don't have to be. A frightful night, so join in the fun. Delicious and bright time. Shortcake, Big Apple City's annual fall ball is no more. From this year forward, I shall throw the Fright Ball Frightacular! Frightfall in Big Apple City. I need to come up with a creepy cupcake. I'm sure you'll come up with something frightfully fitting. <laughs> oh, if you see the ghost, say hi for me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the what now? Blueberry, wait up! <sighs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Did you say ghost? Yep, J. Quincy Cupcake. He was the owner of the Berry Works when it was still a cupcake factory. Oh, J. Quincy was a perfectionist who checked every cupcake for the tiniest blemish. How shall I throw him that? Some folks say his spirit still roams the Berry Works at night. Who judging any baker working late and alone? But you've never 
never actually seen Jay Quincy Cupcake's ghost, right? Huh? Oh, golly, I wish. I've tried to meet him for years. Maybe tonight you'll be the lucky berry. Have fun. Okay, a cupcake-obsessed ghost. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Great, 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 yeah. Not creepy at all. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake is scared of ghosts. Let's give her a frightful treat she will never forget. Ooh, okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. You're just gonna grab your lucky spoon and bake. There is absolutely nothing to be scared of. Just the lights, Strawberry. It's just the lights. Stop twinkering! Oh, it's just a plant. <laughs> Oh, it's a rusty sign, Strawberry. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're gonna get it together. <laughs> be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry. Holy hazelnuts! You're never gonna find inspiration for Scary if you're too scared to be inspired. <sighs> Calm down. All right, what's that? Bad plumbing, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> it is I, Jay Quincy Cupcake. Who dares bake in my present? Me? No, no baking here! It is you! Strawberry shortcake! <laughs> one time I don't want to be recognized for my baking. No one likes your gross country treats. Go back to Berryville! <laughs> <laughs> Yaha! The universe told me Strawberry was the lucky berry, and now I finally get to meet the ghost of the berry works. Put her there, Mr. Cupcake. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. Ah. Oh, have you met Strawberry Shortcake? She's a perfectionist, just like... Huh? Hello. Well, this is the J. Quincy Cupcake. Oh, we should try one of your cupcakes. No, oh, Blueberry, they're hot. That's fine. I've got ice cream fingers and he's a ghost. Ow! That's hot! What are you... And gumdrops. You three are the reincarnated spirit of Jay Quincy Cupcake? <sighs> I knew it. Raspberry tart? Sour grapes? Bread pudding? Why are you trying to scare me? <gasps> That's it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ow. Just checking. It's my spooky surprise cake. Each bite has a new hidden flavor waiting to shock you. Raspberry, then grape, then bread pudding filling. Mmm, that is terrifyingly tasty. How did you ever come up with it? Really, Blueberry? We were together the whole time. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, ho. Strawberry shortcake and her dressy sous chef custard. Custard? Custard? Custard! Shortcake? Huh? What, what happened? happened? Caramel popcorn! I yell when I'm hungry, too. I was busy and Custard wandered off, and now I can't find her! Which makes me a terrible person! And an even worse cat, Mom! Popcake always disappears. I think he does laps around the building. I'm pretty sure Parfait eavesdrops. Frappe takes off all the time. You know, when I get too chatty. Sup? Cheesecake runs an underground poker game for other animals. She counts the cards. Blueberry Muffin is very creative with her facts. She makes them up. None of you know where your pets are? Hey, hey Frap! Hey! Don't worry, Shortcakes. We'll work together to find all the pets. Thanks. I've studied every inch of the berry works. I'll lead the pet rescue. Do we really think the pets wandered in here? Where is here? These are the original storage rooms. It's fascinating, actually. <laughs> Constructed when this was all apple trees, the Big Apple Berry Works led to the small town of Apple Grove becoming Big Apple City. And the apple trees were planted by a magical berry guardian who sprinkled enchanted seeds from high above the clouds. True story. Not true. Custard? <laughs> Custard! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's 
just a painting of Jay Quincy and his wife Henrietta Cupcake. History says her recipes inspired Jay Quincy to start his cupcake factory. Of course, it was the flock of Tutti Fruity Toucans who flew down from the Forbidden Fruitlands that inspired Henrietta. Again, not true. Tutti Fruity Toucans are not an actual breed of bird. That's true. Except in the Forbidden Fruitlands. The Forbidden Fruitlands are not a thing. Okay, okay, I think we should just focus back on what's important here. Yeah, like why is that whisk upside down? Jay Quincy said great recipes start with whisking. Legends say his whisk was magical and led to his success. That's why he hid it in a secret room and... No, I've researched the berry works for years. No berry guardians, no toucans, no magic whisk, and definitely no secret room. Legends say... History says... All right, all right, enough with the history and the legends. We're here to find the pets, not to talk about why the Berry Works was built, where the secret room is, or why this whisk is upside down. Secret office? I knew it was true. Custard! <laughs> what a cool room! And we never would have found it if it weren't for my kooky cat. <laughs> um, what were you saying about those toucans? Well, legends say that tutti fruity toucans can grow as big as airplanes! And they only eat grapes. They don't like anything else. It's really like orange. What's up? Huh, lemon! Between the crowd and the 75 mini peach trifles I need to bake for, peach trifle, I'm swamped! Need help? Huh, what I need is two of me. The moment I've been waiting for. Meet the Cakeinator Six! Uh, wait, the Cakeinator? <laughs> what happened to one through five? about it. I, I don't know, Lemon. Come on. The cake and is programmed to bake the perfect treat. It's just like having two of you. Well, uh, how's it work? Just pop a sparkberry in its mouth and tell it what to bake. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah! I am the cake and <laughs> I need 75 mini peach trifles. 75 mini peach trifles confirmed. Okay, so I usually mix it with my lucky spoon, and then I... Lucky spoon does not compute. Activate mixer fingers. So after the whole oven fiasco, I was nervous about another lemon invention, but that cakeinator gets things done. The cakes need 30 minutes to bake. You can't rush perfection. 30 minutes does not compute. Activate repulsor hands. Oh, okay, wow. You baked it in no time. But don't rush leering in the peaches and cream. That takes finesse. Welcome to the extraordinary berry. One apple fritter, please. I'm so sorry, Honeydew Sorbet, but we're sold out of fritters today. Sold out does not compute emergency apple fritter protocol. Well, I guess you don't need me. <laughs> I'll just, I'll take a little break back here. Little break does not compute. Of course it doesn't. What kind of baker am I supposed to be if a robot can do my job? I guess I'm not as special as I thought. We stop, Ellie. My fit is different today. Oh, the cake and eater didn't add the dash of cinnamon you like. Strawberry! That metal version of you put berries on my pie. And won't give me extra powdered sugar. Sorry, Huck. A new berryless piece coming up. And I've got your powdered sugar right here. <laughs> 
extra ingredient does not compute. Imperfect item does not compute. Our treats don't have to be perfect, Cakeinator. They just need to be made with love. That's the Strawberry Shortcake Touch. Mwah. Strawberry Shortcake Touch does not compute. <laughs> What happened? I told it our treats didn't have to be perfect, that they just needed a little love, and it blew up. Love, huh? That tracks. Lemon, I think it's better if I handle the baking by myself. It's okay. I got another idea. Let me guess, the Cakeinator 7? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> What's with all the yelling? My strawberry pies! I set them out to cool and look! I even put a sign out, hot pies, only eat when cool. But now, some berry decides to come along and gobble them up. This really bakes my bread, you know? Who would do such a horrible thing? Oh, I can find the culprit. Yes! Lime is an awesome detective. Is that a donut? Crack a clue, take a bite. I've read a lot of Apricot Christie mysteries. I know all the tricks to find the who, what, where, when, and hi. Also, I really like donuts. I don't think there are many clues to go on. It's all just a mess. Yes, this crime scene is a mess. No berry would eat pie like this. We are clearly looking for an animal. An animal? <gasps> This cat's paws don't match the markings in your pies. Therefore, she is innocent. Ha. Wow, you are good. Oh, I'm just getting started. Red Hot the Ferret, our next suspect. He is? What do you know about it? Ferret. Get out of town. Red Hot would never steal from a baker as sweet and generous as Strawberry. Aww. Thank you, Huck. Besides, he's been with me all day. Uh, hey, let us help. Leave no bag of flour unturned, no critter unquestioned, no pie left behind. I checked every animal, followed every lead, but I had nothing. Are you narrating right now? Here, Huck, you can have the last bite. I don't deserve it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Lime. You tried your best. I'll just have to keep a closer eye on- Huckleberry Pie did it. <gasps> I would never. You ate my donut like an animal. Just like the pies. Why would I steal from Strawberry? She gives me pies for free. Um, say what now? Her sign said, hot pies only eat when cool. Strawberry likes my music. She thinks I'm cool. So she leaves those pies out for me. That's not what the sign means, is it? Not, not even way. a little. Wow. I stole the pies, didn't I? Yeah, uh -huh. totally. Just wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I really did think those were thank you pies for my smooth and jazzy tunes. I do think you're cool, and your tunes are very smooth and jazzy. <laughs> Just check with me next time. There's still one mystery left. Why do you eat pies like that? Big Apple Fair's pie eating champion, three years in a row. No better way to enjoy a pie. Okay, berries, on your mark. Get set. Go! Pies do taste better this way. Another mystery? So. Thanks, 
Custard. This is a very important cupcake order. Custard. I have to finish this special order before tomorrow. It needs to be perfect. Forgot what? This way! Huh. Strawberry. Uh -uh. Forgot. Custard! Uh -uh. Earth Day! <laughs> Custard has her own Earth Day? Uh, there's only one Earth Day. Every day should be Earth Day! Uh, Earth Day! <gasps> Strawberry forgot Custard's birthday! Oh! Ah, what's up? You forgot Custard's birthday. I did what now? Are we talking about this birthday? The one that's tomorrow? Huh? Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't you notice me say these needed to be perfect? Or what the main ingredient was in this important cupcake order? <laughs> Lemon? That's cat food! Meh. Mmm, crunchy. <laughs> I was going to throw a surprise party tomorrow, but since every berry and every pet is here now, I guess we get to have the party a day early. <laughs> Happy birthday, Custard! Happy birthday! <laughs> in Big Apple City. This is going to be the best night ever! Right, Berries? Why are we out in the cold again? Why are we staying up so late? And why does bubblegum grow on trees? It doesn't? Huh. That answers that question. We have to stay up until midnight so we can make our super special New Year's wishes. My Granberry Jam always says, a New Year's wish at the stroke of midnight always comes true. Grandberry Jam wishes? Uh, wishes don't come true. What are you, a little sprout? No berry believes that stuff. Right, Raspberry? Yeah, totally. <laughs> no berry. Anyways, what are you berries wishing for at midnight? More hours in the day. Being this much of a boss? Way more than a 24-7 commitment. Well, if we're getting crazy, I'd love a first edition of the classic Anna K. Karenina. World peas. So every berry has access to healthy snacks. 
A year filled with explosions! <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Strawberry? Ooh, well, I always have a wish list up my sleeve. <laughs> Literally. I mean, it's narrowing it down to the perfect wish that's the problem. Well, you still got time till midnight. Better keep my energy up. <sighs> Pinch me if I fall asleep. <sighs> no! Wow, you're good. <laughs> this is a job for my warmer upper 600. Ah, nice. Warm. Oh, too specific. Too fantastical. Too retro. This is a New Year's wish. It needs to be just right. <sighs> oh, who will pinch me if I fall asleep? 32? 33? Ooh! Guys, I think I have it narrowed down to the top 10 best wishes! How will my wish come true if I don't even know what to wish for? You can get this. Just pick something you want to do and make a wish. And someday soon it could come true. Where to start? What could it be? A special wish that's just for me. So many dreams I see. And I think I know what... Hi, Raspberry. <gasps> oh, it's you. You wish on a midnight star, too? Of course. My grandmama Marmalade taught me. After all, a New, New Year's, Year's wish at the stroke of midnight, midnight always, always comes true. true. Okay, don't make it weird. Every berry has a grandparent. It's no big deal. I wish to be the best baker in Big Apple City. I guess that's your wish, too. Nope. I mean, yes, I do want to be the best baker, but I don't think that's this wish. I wish to make even more amazing friends this year in Big Apple City. Raspberry? Berry, where you at? If you tell any berry that I made a wish, I will... totally find some way to embarrass you. Very happy New Year, Big Apple City. <laughs> ah! Ah! Lemon, your poppers! Turkey roasting? Check! You, uh, you sure your mom is okay with you not going home for the holiday? Oh, yeah! I told her how excited I was to experience my first fairy bounty banquet in Big Apple City! A small, delicious celebration. Uh, and Praline, um, do we have any extra space for the banquet? Uh, how much space are we talking about? Oh, just my friends and also their entire families. Did you invite their entire family, Strawberry? Well, I want every berry there. Me familia es tu familia. Me? There's not enough space. There's not enough time. There's not enough food. It's impossible. Did you just say impossible? Yes. There is no way we can do this. I'll just, I'll text them. I'll tell them I made a mistake and ruined every berry's, you know, time. Impossible is what the women in our family are all about. Impossible's my jam. We've got our work cut out for us. When things go wrong, then we adjust. If it's tough. Don't get stressed, that's when we're at our best And if your world feels like it's crashing down We'll turn it back around We'll turn it back around If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up If it knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up Turn it all around, all around, and get back up If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up seem impossible but trust me we're unstoppable the two of us won't ever fall get out of our way together we are number one turn problems into something fun before you know we will be done we're saving the
Amazing, fabulous, shockingly efficient. Yeah, we really are. Not to mention lucky. <laughs> You were saying? What are we gonna do? Three emails, two meetings, and one yoga class, and then I am good to go. Perfect. As soon as I finish these strawberry jelly donuts, I'll meet you at Garscone. <laughs> Did you say Garscone? Aunt Praline is taking me out for a girls' night. W-O-W, Garscone is the hottest restaurant in Big Apple City. The food is... What are you gonna wear? I was just gonna wear this. Close the truck. We're going shopping. I am not fancy. I don't need to get all dressed up to have dinner with my aunt. Strawberry has to get dressed up to have dinner with her aunt. It's Garscone! Blooming Berries is the place to find the perfect look for tonight. I don't know, Lime. This just seems too fancy for me. <laughs> uh, why are you looking at me like that? Really flowy fantasy. Go big, go bold, be fun, be free. Really flowy fantasy. Go big, go bold, be fun, be free. A fancy night out on the town. That's super fun, so lose that frown. Let's go get you ready for your big night. Big night. Okay, you don't know what to wear. You got this girl, so don't despair. Time to get you ready for the spotlight. Be your fair free best. Shine brighter than the rest. Be the finest fairy on display. Be glamorous, be loud. Be the one to wow the crowd. Be your very best and win a day. Really flowy fantasy. Go big, go bold, be fun, be free. Really flowy fantasy. Go big, go bold, be fun, be free. Just find a look that has appeal. Something stunning. Choose a dress that all fit just right. just right. I wanna look that feels like me. Shows off who I wanna be. Look at you, you're gonna steal the line. Garscone. It's just not really perfect for me. You know what? I I'm not hungry anyway. Maybe I'll just tell Aunt Paling we can rain check for another night. Maybe when it comes to dress up, I can get a teensy bit carried away. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Wait! Jelly donut! Jelly what now? Nobody cares what's on the outside of a jelly donut. It's what's inside that matters. Dressing up is fun, but I know that no matter what you wear, you're gonna be a huge hit. You're you. Be your free best. Don't worry, don't be stressed. Find a look that makes you feel like you. Shine brighter than a star just by being who you are. That's the very best thing you can do. You look fabulous. Well, that is all thanks to my fashion guru, Lime Chiffon. Clearly. I mean, you look very fashion forward. I always try to look my very best. <laughs> <laughs>
sweetest holiday, AKA the day when I get my sweet friends the sweetest presents I can to show how much I love them. AKA love is in the air. <gasps> a meditation pillow shaped like a chocolate bar. <gasps> Tranquil and tasty. Chocolate trophy? For the sweetest smoothie maker I know. Aw, thanks, shortcakes. Orange, you glad I love you, Orange? Get it? Orange? Because your name is. <clears throat> yeah, I'll workshop that a bit. <gasps> a book about chocolate made of chocolate? Lots of love for you. Woo! To cocoa bean or not to cocoa bean? Day. I just want to give you your Sweetie Pie's Day present. I don't want it! <sighs> Look, it's nothing personal, but personally, I hate Sweetie Pie's Day. <laughs> but why? Sweetie Pie's Day is all about love, Ooh, feelings, handwritten cards, Ooh, writing about feelings, and hugs! Hugs are the worst. Down with hugs! Lemon! Don't you want to show your friends how much you love them? Of course I do, but Sweetie Pie's Day, it's all about sharing your feelings. Oh, every berry gives me stuff and I don't know what to do or say and it just makes me feel weird. Okay, no feelings. Just open it. A chocolate bolt? You show us you care all the time with your ingenious inventions, like my amazing very, very oven. So this is my way of saying thank you for all the times you show us how much you care. Your way. Huh. I know, it's Sweetie Pie's day, and you won't want to talk feelings and stuff, but since I don't want to, I thought I'd show you how much you mean to me instead. With this little invention I like to call the Ha! Meister 3000! Hugs aren't my thing, but this guy loves them. Don't look now, but I think you just shared some feelings. Turns out, I like to show I care, just in my own way. Honestly, the best hugs are the ones I don't need to be a part of. Group hug, everybody! Oh, I love you so much! Hurt. Another great day! I love our jobs! I'm pumped! Who else is pumped? By the time I close up, I have no energy left. You need energy? You ask this berry. You, me, tomorrow morning. It's gonna be epic! Do I have a choice? Nope. It's what friends are for. See you bright and early. Um, what did I agree to? I'm all about being the best me I can be. And now I can help Shortcakes be the best she, she can be. What are berry besties for? Where's the butters and croissants? Morning, Shark Cakes! It's 4 a.m., which means it's... Time to sleep four more hours. Let's go, go, go! Get dressed and get a move on! <laughs> this was a mistake. I should have... <laughs> what is all this? Time to work out. So, so let me just get this straight. I tell you I'm exhausted, and your solution is more exhaustion? Huh. Let's go! Yes! Woo. I am not okay. 
okay. Shortcakes? Oh. I give up. I still have no energy and it's been, what, days? Weeks? 20 minutes. What? Orange, thanks for the offer, but exercise is clearly your thing. And I think we can both agree that it is definitely not my thing. Uh -huh. I don't get it. Friends are supposed to do things they like together, but she hates working out and I love it. I love fitness the way she loves baking. Oh. <laughs> Orange? Why? Come on, I got you. Trust me? Do I have a choice? Huh? What is all this? You'll see. Working out is not your thing, but fitness is important. And since your thing is baking, we're gonna get you stronger doing what you do best. Go! Another! Again! Push it! You got it! Orange made a workout just for me! Hey, we should make workouts for each of you. Lime can lift books, blue ray can do arts and crafts relay. Lemon, we can squat truck engines! Uh, <laughs> Orange, I think maybe you energized her a little too much. It's the endorphins. Just leave her alone. She'll wind down eventually. All right, somebody get me a pad of paper. Let's make a list of workouts for every very epic... Of me and puppies parachuting in from the sky. Oh, and Kiki Key Lime has to be there. And that's what I want for my Raz birthday spectacular. Got it? Uh, Sounds totally. great. Thanks, Berries. <laughs> I was worried this year's celebration wouldn't meet my usual expectations, but with friends like you, I just know it's going to be the best birthday ever. <laughs> Did you write down what she said? What, is that a doodle of you and Raspberry wearing crowns and sashes while I'm all alone over there? So we're gonna delve deeper into that later. But for now, what are we gonna do for her birthday? Cupcake candle card. Can't argue with the classics. Mm. Mom, Dad, I know you were worried since you won't be here for my birthday, but my friends are taking care of everything. It's gonna be fantastic. This is Raspberry. Raspberry tart. Call me when you get this. Bye. What? Birthdays are special. I wouldn't wish a bad birthday on my worst enemy. And, and well, that's raspberry. Wait, you want to throw raspberry tart, the best birthday party ever? Yes. Raspberry wouldn't do that for you. She wouldn't do that for any berry. Sure, Raspberry and I aren't exactly friends, but every berry deserves to have the best birthday. Who doesn't love a birthday? You get the cake, the weird blowy things that make noise. You won't stop speeching until we do this, will you? I will not. Huh? Okay. Oh, let's throw a party.
birthday, Barry. I hope you're excited. I am! I have to be honest, I know it was a lot, and I wasn't sure you two would really do all the things I asked for. <laughs> when you say all the things... <gasps> everything I dreamed of! Right. But, like, we may have missed one or two or... All? No! It's perfect! Huh? <laughs> I cannot believe you two did all this! Uh, um, well, but I... We... Right? They kept telling every berry at the Berry Works how important this birthday was for you. They just wanted you to have the best day ever. <laughs> We did say that! Only the best for you. <sighs> Red and Sour had nothing to do with this party. Why are you letting them take the credit? Because it'll make Raspberry feel good. Just like it makes me feel good that my friends were willing to help me plan this party, even if they didn't want to. It's a good feeling when you know there are berries who will always be there for you, no matter what. Is it spaghetti? It's okay, Strawberry. Every berry needs to know how to get around the city on the funnel system. Luckily, you have me to teach you. It can be very complicated, so do exactly what I do and memorize everything I say. We'll start here at Rhubarb Station and take the Pineapple Express to... <gasps> Yo. Ah! Strawberry? Mine? Mine? I do. I'm a lost berry. Lost little berry, what you gonna do? Lost little berry, help is gonna find you. Hey there, you okay? Hi, I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Can you and your pet rat help me? Ferret, actually. He's Red Hot, and I'm Huckleberry Pie. We play here in the funnel system for all our fans. We can probably take a break. Thank you! I have no idea how the funnel system works. <sighs> Figuring it out is easy. You just have to do it. But I don't know what I'm doing. What if I mess up? Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. I feel a little overwhelmed and filled with fear. Oh, you'll be fine. Not sure what I should do with just take your time. But what if I choose wrong and mess up this cute song? Well, then we'll start again. It's no big deal. Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, it won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new. And I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay. Cause I believe. You know, be brave and choose your way, and you'll be okay. And if you're not, we'll back it up and start again. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it won't be as scary as you thought, and you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay. cake system. Also, you are really talented. Music is my passion. <gasps> like baking for me. Baking? Well, eating is my second passion. Strawberry! Lime? Lime? I found you. Did this rat hurt you? Ferret, actually. And I'm fine. Huckleberry Pie helped me. He's a musician. Actually, Huck, why don't you come with us to the Berry Works? I'm sure every berry would love your music. Uh, sorry, Strawberry. I just can't disappoint my fans down here. Right. Well, 
At least let me give you a thank you, Cupcake. See ya! Mm. Mm. On second thought, uh, maybe it's time for Red Hot and I to expand our musical horizons. There are more cupcakes at the Berry Works, right? <laughs> <laughs> Becoming the best baker in the world is my big dream. And big dreams need big places to come true, which is why I left my adorably tiny hometown of Berryville and came to... Hey. Oh, uh, what, what, did, what did you ask me again? If I could scoot past you. Oh, yes, right. Of course, yeah, you just... Okay. Obviously, I'm very excited to follow my dream to all new adventures in my all new home. Every aspiring baker knows that to get discovered, there's only one place to go. Big Apple City! Custard, we're here! A city that's always cooking. It's magical, it's magnificent, it's lady crowded. Whoa, so many berries, excuse me. Whoops, coming through, oopsie, whoa. There's my favorite niece. And Praline! Aunt Praline is my super, super cool aunt. When I told her I wanted to move to the big city, she uh, said I could stay with her and she'd help get everything I need to succeed. <laughs> She's the very best. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crab apple jam. Kiki key, key, key lime. Peculiar purple lime man, no way. <gasps> the biggest names in baking all got their start right here. Sure did. And the next big name is... Strawberry Shortcake. Shortcake. I can't wait to get started. A fresh new start, a dash of nerves, a pinch of uh, ear. Uh, okay. mm. First piece of advice, skip the heartfelt song. There's no time. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Every single day, fresh-faced berries arrive in the city. Everyone wants to be the next big thing in baking. You want to be the best? You got to be smarter, faster, focused. Keep your eye on the prize. Right. Focused. Wow. Fortunately for you, your in-the-know aunt knows the inside scoop. For example, not every berry knows the first stop in the city has to be the Berry Works. The what? The Berry Works. Obviously, it's the hottest spot in the city. It has shops, restaurants, and it's where bakers go to get discovered. It's also where my niece is going to get her start in her very own food truck. Aunt Praline, that sounds fantastic. And I'm sure that once I get settled, I'll be ready tomorrow. To Excuse me, tomorrow? Tomorrow. But, 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 but I just got here. I've barely seen the city. I definitely don't have a food truck. And... Oh, trust me, you gotta just dive in. And you just let me worry about the truck. Now get some rest. Tomorrow's a big day. Love you so much. Okay. Wasn't expecting my dreams to take off quite this fast. But you, you gotta dive in, right? Yeah, okay, I'm ready. I can't wait to see this truck. What? Ta-da! My old truck, the Praline Dream. Ultimately, food trucks were not my jam, okay? But now you can take the truck and make your dreams come true. Well... All right, hop in, kiddo. Next stop, the Berry Works. Okay, yeah, maybe it's a bit of a fixer-upper, but hey, it has character. Wow. Good luck. You're leaving? Mayor Molasses is announcing a new Sparkberry factory, and he can't even find the stage without me. But you've got this. I'm already proud. You text me later, okay? Bye. Okay, Custard, we've got this. Yep, okay, that's not good. It really was nice of Aunt Praline to give me her old food truck to get started in Big Apple City. It's just that the truck needed a little more work than she realized. Okay, Custard, we can make this work. We just need to... Oh, um, gumdrops! What is that? Hi, my name is Strawberry Shortcake, and I... Yeah, no. I'm not doing peppy and cheerful this early in the morning. Get this thing off Berry Works property before some Berry thinks we're the city's new garbage dump. Oh, well, actually, this is my food truck. I mean, sure, it needs a bit of work, but I was gonna... Let me stop you. This is the Berry Works. It's trendy, it 
it's chic. And it's my job to keep it that way. That pile of junk doesn't belong here, and neither do you. Whoa! This might be the worst day ever. I can take that off your hands. Name's Lemon Meringue. I love junk, and that is some quality junk. I actually need this junk. I mean truck. It's gonna be my new bakery. Oh, so you want to be our competition. I didn't think. I don't want to be. Just play in. I love competition the way Lemon loves junk. I'm Orange Blossom. Strawberry Shortcake. Nice to meet you, Shortcakes. Let me guess. Fresh off the bus? I got here yesterday. Welcome to Big Apple City. I think you'll find most berries here are pretty friendly. I heard we have a brand new berry. Hi, I'm Lime Chiffon. If you have any questions about, well, anything, come to me. I'm kind of an expert on, well, everything. You smell friendly. I have a good feeling about you. We all have shops here at the Berry Works. I run the Citrus Slice Smoothie Cart. Most energy-fueled smoothies in town. Blueberry Muffin runs the Dreamery Creamery Ice Cream Cart. This month's featured flavor is Raindrop Raisin Drizzle. It tastes like the forest smells right after a thunderstorm. But with raisins. That is definitely unique, yes. And Lemon Meringue and I work at the Lemon Lime Time Cart. If you ever need any... <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, you okay? <laughs> Sorry, but Big Apple City's just been a little overwhelming. And you're all just so nice, especially after that berry was so mean this morning. Ugh, bread pudding. Ignore him, we do. He called my truck garbage. Hmm, he's not wrong. Hmm, but it does have good energy. Adding baked goods to the mix could be good for business. If I can't take it apart, might as well put it together. Really? You'll help me? What are new berry buddies for? <laughs> this might be the best day ever. Again, I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and this is my food truck, the Extraordinary Berry. I'm new here, but I'm pretty sure this is exactly where I belong. Mm, nice color, cute name, fun garden. I suppose this will do, but I've got my eyes on you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, authentic country pie. I love it. Things are going fantastic at the Big Apple Berry Works. Apparently, every berry loves my authentic down-home baking. I heard about, I heard that it is so Ooh, look at me. I'm a simple country berry. I make simple pastries for simple people. And I dress too matchy-matchy. What? She does. I don't care how she dresses. She is taking all my customers. We need to show this country bumpkin how things work in Big Apple City. Whoa! Hi! We're your neighbors. I'm Raspberry Tart. That's my truck over there. Oh, and uh, this is Sour Grapes. That's your truck? Oh, and gumdrops. So pristine. Wow. It is nothing compared to this thing you've got going on. You're the fresh new berry on the block. Oh, thank you. So, what can I get you, new food truck friend? Strawberry pie? <gasps> Strawberry strudel? Pano strawberry. That's a new one. We'll take everything you've got left. Everything? Eee! Ooh, uh, mm, mm. I sold out. Who did it? Me, I did it. <gasps> I hope this whole small town country berry thing doesn't get old. What do you mean? Well, this is Big Apple City. 
You've got to keep things fresh or customers just move on. The country berry bit is cute today, but if it starts to feel stale, it's... Bye-bye, berry. Oh. Shortcakes. What's wrong? I sold out of everything. That's awesome. Awesome today. Tomorrow? Bye-bye, Barry. Hmm. My country Barry bit will get old. Barry's will get tired of my baking. The universe put you here for a reason. Why would you think that? <gasps> Mystery solved. Look. Um, I think it's too rad. So rad. Come on down to the Raspberry Supreme for authentic country treats. Yeehaw. No, they did not. Come on, shortcakes. We're fixing this. Raspberry tart. What did you do? What? Berries like my authentic treats better than hers. Your treats? Those are my treats. You bought them and stole my whole, uh, my whole vibe. How dare you? Your treats were strawberry. Mine are strawberry and raspberry and have a bow. See, anyone can do country, and the fairies have spoken. Oh, hello, Strawberry Shortcake. You're from the country. Are these authentic? Um, well, the berry who baked these definitely knew what she was doing. <laughs> Maybe a bit heavy on the raspberry. Mm. Woo-wee! If y'all like mixing flavors, how about I whip up a batch of my authentic every berry country coffee cake to give you city berries a real treat? Yeah! <laughs> Raspberry made me feel like being myself wasn't enough. But then she tried to steal everything that made me, me. You can try passing my treats off as yours, but there's only one authentic Berryville baker in Big Apple City. And she's not going anywhere. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. Berry. I am going to squash that berry.